Stan Gibalisco here. I uh, just received another comment. This one uh, coming from Dubai. Uh, it uh, expressed interest in the Sentinel hex beam antenna. It uh, was associated with my elephant cage ditty. Uh, they said, uh, what, incidentally, one of the comment or one of the uh, yeah, I think one of the comments said, uh, I guess the sentinel, uh, the elephant cage antenna is working because uh, you don't see any elephants running around, do you? Well, the sentinel hex beam antenna, uh, I have never heard of before in my life either until today. So I can't offer you any advice as to how to set up such an antenna, but I can offer you the same advice that I did for the elephant cage antenna. Go to the Google search engine and in the phrase search box type the words sentinel hex beam hex as in hexagon um, sentinel hex beam and you should get a series of links relating to articles on how to construct such a such an antenna you can also go to the YouTube search box and type the words Sentinel Hex Beam Antenna and see what happens. You may get some interesting videos on how to build uh, such a monstrosity. It sounds interesting. I uh, haven't done very much research on this, but you can, and I certainly will as time goes by. If you've used such an antenna, let me know. This uh, particular viewer seems to be interested in the lower bands, for example, 40 and 80 meters. I guess you'd make the same type of antenna except larger, and it would probably have to have wire elements and uh, rigid supports of some sort or another uh, mounted in the ground. That would be my guess. I don't, you know, a, a large antenna like a quad or a beam or an antenna like the Sentinel hex beam uh, will not do so terribly well as a self-contained structure on a tower, for example. Come the first severe thunderstorm or heavy ice storm and such an antenna would more resemble a tangled mess of electrical conductors uh, than anything else. But you'll find a way. Stan Gibalisco signing off. Until next time, so long.